The intense debate between activist Dalim Pofu and Democratic Alliance, DA, federal leader Helen Zill, on the X platform captured the attention of South Africans. Before we continue, please kindly hit on the subscribe button. Mpofu's criticism of South African President Cyril Ramaphosa's cabinet size and his suggestion that Ramaphosa resign were the first causes of the argument. Regarding Julius Malima, the leader of Mpofu, Zill hinted that he, too, ought to consider resigning. Mpofu became enraged with Zill when she chose John Steenweisen to take over as DA leader from Musi Maimain. Despite Maimain receiving 3.6 million votes, Zill dismissed him. Zill, however, backed Steenweisen, whom Pofu referred to as less educated, even though he garnered less votes. The heated language and insulting remarks used during the public forum conversation infuriated a lot of South Africans. Zill supporters rallied behind her, drawing attention to her struggle against apartheid and in favor of democracy and equality. The battle between Pofu and Zill is a microcosm of broader debates in South African politics over accountability, racism, and leadership. Once again, Dalim Pofu's unexpected Twitter revelation about his new bureau arrangements sparked a flurry of conversation. In his tweet, Mpofu promised that the ANC had awarded a highly sought-after post to a member of the general public, referring to him as Mr. Abahambi himself. He said that there were outcomes from this behavior. The tweet also suggests that Gaten McKenzie is okay with his role at the bureau since it acknowledges the lack of mass extradition risks. Mpofu's tweet reads, ANC furnished him with a place that was looked for by a South African individual, Mr. Abahambi. Gaten may work in a comparable bureau beside him with little chance of mass extradition at a cost. Imagine the prejudice, aphrophobia, and self-loathing that would result if he were black. Assuming that Twofold Outsider was a real person. The tweet has generated a lot of discussion on online entertainment, with many users participating in discussions about the implications of Mpofu's claims. It is possible that the allusion to Mr. Abahambi is meant to criticize the African National Congress, ANC, for having chosen an unknown individual for a prominent post. If the person had been dark, this would have probably led to anger and accusations of bias and Afrophobia. Mpofu's remarks also touch on Gaten McKenzie's dubious stance on extradition and mobility, which are thought to be two of his strong points. In light of race, Mpofu proposes a dual standard for handling foreign nationals. She does this by highlighting McKenzie's apparent desire to serve a distant audience without advocating for extradition. The tweet raises questions about the integrity and requirements of the ANC's cycle of arrangement, implying that posts are being awarded based on factors other than public interest and legitimacy. It also includes the enduring problems with prejudice, xenophobia, and self-loathing that exist in the political realm. Because of this revelation, the current administration and its alliance ambitions are expected to be more scrutinized and under pressure. The ANC may be under further pressure to respond to these accusations and provide clarity about their dynamic cycles as the public and political analysts continue to scrutinize Mpofu's cases. The complex and sometimes antagonistic aspects of race, identity, and political commitment often intersect in South Africa's political landscape and influence lively discourse. The evidence for this is provided by Mpofu's tweet. A senior party member named Andial Lung Issa made some contentious statements that have led to an increase in tensions inside the African National Congress, ANC. A heated controversy has been sparked by Lund Jice's vocal criticism of the National Executive Committee, NEC. Some party members have called for his removal, while others have defended his right to free speech. According to reports, Lung Issa recently criticized NEC members, calling them careerists, in a statement that Sunday World carried. Some ANC groups are outraged by his remarks, claiming that such divisive language threatens party unity. Lungeis's comments have prompted an immediate and unyielding backlash. A sizable portion of ANC members are demanding that he be kicked out of the organization. The serious issues and profound differences within the ANC's internal politics are highlighted by this demand for immediate action. The feeling was encapsulated in one well-known response. Lung Issa has to be banished, protecting the right to free speech. But Lung Issa has his supporters as well. Despite being divisive, many 